Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's get into it. I'm Kenyatta, and this will be a reading from the Hoodoo Tarot deck. The title of the reading is The Nanny. The nanny. All right, let's get into it here. We have Lot of Coins, Upright, Seven of Coins, Upright, Five of Knives, Upright, Daughter of Sticks, In Reverse, <clears throat> Excuse me, Eight of Knives, Upright. I feel like privilege. You're a person of privilege. Okay, or you were a young person here. Okay. With it looked like everything at your um you know, at your fingertips. Nice home, nice building, friends, okay, people who loved you. Okay. Or so it seemed. This how this is how it looked, okay. But I am hearing you were, okay. You had all this, okay, right in the palm of your hands, and I feel as though um, you look like it too. <laughs> I feel like you look good. You had nice things, okay. But while you were planting, okay, the seeds. Okay, for your life here. Once again, here we had this thing shitting on your parade. Okay. I feel like wanting to make sure that you were um, not going to be successful. That you were not going to, I'm even hearing look well, dress well, be well. Because you were all that. Okay, and they wanted to take this away from you. And that I feel like this person here, okay, this nanny energy was willing to do any and everything, okay, they possibly could, okay, to put you here, to slow down your life, to slow down things, to slow down what was meant for you, and to have you in this, uh, here we have this Eight of Knives energy, feeling trapped, okay, when really all you had to do was walk away, okay, walk up out of there, but it didn't look like it, and even if it did, how? The Big Queen, Upright, Mother of Baskets, in Reverse, Eight of baskets, upright, 
daughter of knives in reverse Z. I feel like I'm hearing like this energy here, this nanny energy ruled over you, okay? Uh, somewhat like with an iron fist. Okay, Even if it was in the dark, even if it was in the shadows, even if it didn't appear that way to you. Okay, you did this in the dark, hidden. And, you know, might have had some help doing it. They might have presented themselves as uh, to you and maybe to others as though they loved you. Okay, like they had a lot of love for you. Okay. But as we can see, mother baskets in reverse. It was all a lie. It wasn't true. Okay. There was no love for you here. And I even feel like um, what uh, this whole shitting on your parade, shitting on your life, okay, while you are trying. And I feel like you had a lot of love for this person, okay, like you trusted this person. So while you were planting seeds for your life, okay, you didn't really look, wasn't really paying no attention because you felt like this person had, well, you know how I say, um, well, um, you felt like this person had your back here, okay, but you didn't really see them for what they truly were. Okay, blinded and shielded. Okay, shielded, but also blind, made blind to the reality of who this person actually was. Okay, you know, you might have thought this person was um, just a caregiver. They were not a caregiver. They were a nanny. They were your nanny. I'm hearing from a time gone by, so might have been in a past life, they might have been that to you. I'm hearing they were. Okay. So while this person dirtied up your life without you really knowing, without you really seeing it, okay, they pretty much just kind of dirtied up your life and walked away. Okay. You clean your shit up. Okay. I ain't cleaning your shit no more. Although the shit was made by them. The stuff that needed to be cleaned was made by them and put there by them on purpose Okay, for you to fail. Here we have ancestors in reverse. Okay, Dr. Grant upright. Okay. Eight of sticks in reverse C. You would not now, like I said, this might have been a caregiver of sorts in this life, maybe even a parent. But in a past life, the reality is this person was not your parent. You're not a part of this person's ancestry. Never was. This person was your nanny. They dressed you, fed you, do things that nannies do. In the past, and here they were in the present, current life, doing it again. And maybe they had some kind of memories or some kind of knowing about this. Okay, some kind of, you know, I'm, I'm, I ain't doing this shit again. Okay. And if they were your nanny, you might have even come from, in this past life, a place and time of privilege. I'm hearing you did. Okay. But I feel as though it was this person's uh, determination to wherever you came from, whatever your ancestry was, okay, or to leave you lonely, to leave you, you know, tilling the ground and all of this type of thing by yourself in hardship, okay, because maybe that's what they felt from this time gone by. Maybe they had some kind of, uh, some kind of recollection or something or some kind of inner knowing, I don't know, okay, and a determination to try and, uh, uproot you from who you really were or who you really are okay from a place of wealth or prosperity of some sort okay 
Now, this person might not have even wanted your, uh, you know, your necessarily to be you. I'll put it like that or to be, you know, where you came from and all of that type of thing. Okay. It could have just been a matter of, you know, I'm going to shit on their life. And make things worse for them. Okay. Uproot them so they don't know, you know, who the hell they are. <laughs> Where the hell they are? Why the hell they are? Okay, I'm gonna make them hear yeah, this. Eight and nine, eight and nine is a bright, a confused sort. I'm gonna fuck them up. Let's continue on here. Mother of knives in reverse. Mother of sticks upright. Mother of coins in reverse. And while I do, I'm going to take from them. Now, something, okay, what maybe what this person feels belongs to them. Okay. Maybe they had some issues in the past, you know, in this past life, you know, possibly with uh, your family from this past time. I don't know, okay? But they were going to shit on you, taking it out on you. So, um, again, you would not know your ancestry. You would not know your truth. You would not know where you came from. They wanted to confuse you. Here, mother of knives in reverse. Confuse your mind. Confuse your mentality. Okay. And put themselves, once again, in a position of uh, rulership over you as though you confuse you lacking, you're nothing, whatever the case may be. And here, I'm all of that. And this this made this person feel good. They like this. They like fucking you over. And I keep hearing they remembered, okay? They had some knowledge of a time gone by, or maybe something was given to them, some kind of knowledge was given to them in some kind of way, shape, or form of who you were in a past, this past time. I'm hearing remembrance. There was a remembrance, a remembering in some kind of way. Okay. So, you know, whatever... Um, Maybe it is that you were supposed to receive, okay? The abundance that you were supposed to receive, okay? Just, just in your person. I don't feel as though um, this was just like the money made you, okay? Just an abundant bloodline that you are from. Here is the goal was to take that from you, to eliminate that out of your ancestry, okay? In your bloodline. Okay, through you. They were going to make sure that through you, your bloodline would be no more, would exist no more. Okay, not in the abundant state, not in this abundant state on here because they were sim simply because they were pissed. Okay, they didn't like that they were put back in this position of being your nanny or your caregiver once again. I don't like it. I don't want it. I don't want to be this. I want to be great. Okay. I want to be great like them. Not necessarily you or, you know, what you had, what was yours or whatever, where you came from, but like them. And I'm going to make them, uh, through this child, feel just as low as they made me at one point in my life, in my lifetime, okay, in my, you know, past life. I'm hearing like this energy here. Um, hearing the word. Hold on, let me look up something real quick. Th th there was a lot of anger here. Okay, I'm feeling like this person. Let me look this word up real quick with my phone. Let me see. Rue. I kept hearing rue. You will rue the day you met me. This is what they felt 
for you and about you. But I feel like more so not just you in and of yourself, okay? Just your your ancestry, your line, where you came from. Okay, they don't like it. But I am here now. They want to be a part of it. A part of it, but not it. Okay, like they don't want to be you, but a part of it or something like that. Okay, just very angry, very bitter. I feel like what they set out to achieve and to do to you, I'm here, which was unjust, has been no more. They can no longer achieve, okay, what they were setting out to achieve. It's done, okay? It's moved on, I'm hearing, okay? It's past, it's over. They cannot do it anymore and i'm here i'm asking why and i'm here because you know now you know now you know the truth of who you are oh and i'm here and they can't stand it they can't stand it because the day you know has been done it has come to a close it's like they are <laughs> Is it riling or writhing, I think, in, I mean, in misfortune and anger. And I'm hearing pitiful. Because what they were doing to you was really unjust and unfair to you. But see, there's something I'm hearing in their bloodline that caused this to fall on them, on themselves. It's a part of their... Uh, energy it's a part of their home their family their uh, okay you know i guess ancestry bloodline or something like that but i'm here but it didn't have to be this they caused on themselves there was something else there was another choice they could have made but in bitterness and spite anger this was the route they chose But I am hearing sorry for them, sorry for you, sorry for all involved. But I am also hearing, but you are now free from their clutches. Go free. Be free. Okay. That's it. Thank you.